I think we're like pretty good at not breaking character. I guess, yeah. Well, it'd be probably one of you two because me, I'm, it's not like, oh, Chris suddenly transformed <laughs> back out of the character of Star-Lord <laughs> into Chris. <laughs> that was another big distinguish distinction there. Okay, are you ready for your big compliment? I'm ready. Get ready. Um, okay, I think that you are so good at dealing with all people. Like I've literally never seen you like not bother with someone. Like you're always like putting in maximum effort Aww. with everyone and like being so charming, like every person that we encounter. And I'm just like, how do you have the energy for that? But somehow you always do and it's incredible. Thank you. You're one of my favorite people in the world. You're one of the weirdest, most original, <laughs> unique people I've ever met. And True. you're so funny and smart and everything. Thank you're you. the greatest. Karen is a brilliant director. Oh, really yes, extraordinary. It's true. I was just uh, talking about that. <laughs> direct, you're, you're an extraordinary uh, director. Thanks. And uh, I really look forward to seeing uh, what you continue to do as an actor and as a director. You've got a really uh, great sense of story you're really unique you bring your own perspective into storytelling with the things that you've done with Aww. your films and with your short films and i'm i can't wait to see what you do next because you're really talented oh me oh my gosh i'm a british person i don't yeah. know how to accept these things <laughs> palm is wow you are you're an incredible athlete and you you your sense of adventure is infectious it's inspiring you want to go like jump out of airplanes so you do it you want to go learn how to take a course on how to ride a motorcycle wheelie, and so you go do it. Like, you know, yeah. you grab life by the balls and you just <laughs> don't let go. Like, you are, you know how to live, and it's uh, infectious. I'm really grateful you're my friend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're one of the most uh, qu quirkiest, weirdest, and the most hilarious person I've ever met. Oh. And I'm so, I'm so proud to be your friend. Oh. And you, <laughs> you can always count on me. <laughs> Mom, you're gonna make me cry. I, mean, yeah. I'm gonna... I love you, Chris. You're like such an inspiration, and you're such a, a leader, like within our franchise. And you're always in a good mood. You're professional. You're on time. I love people who are on time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you're, you're f cool. Oh, thank you. Aww. So nice yeah. Most emotional scene to shoot together? <sighs> Probably the kind of towards the end of the movie. Goodbye scene of sorts. Yes. Yeah, we're like all sat in a circle and it was a very beautiful. Every time I caught either scene. of your eyes, I would start welling up. It was yeah. like, oh, everyone looked like they had all these like meaningful, profound looks in their eyes because I think we were all aware that this is the last time. That's right. What will you miss most about filming this trilogy together? Mm. <sighs> Probably just like the times in between, I mean, it's in between yeah. when you're not working, that filling that space with just the camaraderie. We had this incredible rule on the last film, no cell phones yeah. mm -hmm. on set. Which you're is, like just really connecting and really yeah, laughing really and nice. in between takes just that talking mm -hmm. about our lives and everything. So it was nice yeah, to not have, uh, not have uh, phones and just to connect, so I'll miss that. Describe the first thing you thought of when you met each other. Oh. Oh my God, I don't know. Um, okay, so the first time I met you mm -hmm. was probably at the table read for Guardians. Oh yeah, it's like when I met you both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and for me, it was like kind of like, you know, you were already a family, so it's just kind of like the newbie. Yeah. Uh. And I was a little bit like, uh, I could not tell scared, that you felt but a little bit like, like, like that. Yeah. I remember thinking, oh, she like looks really like, I, you didn't look that nervous, but you were more. Yeah, because like, I, I, I was actually, and you made me feel really at ease and wow. welcome to the family, and you're like really wow. kind. So I thought like, oh, these ones like seem really cool, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that I'm gonna have a good time with them. And I, I, I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember gaining an understanding of what James meant when he was describing Palm to me. James had told me all about her, her screen test and how just describing in detail her specific uniqueness. And I remember seeing her and meeting her and being like, oh, that's exactly, that's how, <laughs> yes. And for you, my first impression of you was, uh, 
I also had heard about you before I met you and you shaved off your hair. I did. And so I remember thinking like, wow, that's such incredible dedication. What a massive baller move to like shave Aww. your head to do that's a strange. movie that's really serious uh, dedication and commitment. Oh, thanks. Funniest scene to shoot together. Ooh. I mean, the scene when the you draw something. Yeah, yeah that so was a good funny. one. There's a really so great funny. scene around the humanimal table on Counter Earth, which yep. will mean nothing to you until you see the film, but then you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> Chris does a really good drawing. It was his really art funny. Thank you. And Thank I had you. to be very serious and <laughs> loving the drawing, but it was really funny, so it was pretty hard to not laugh. <laughs> I like to draw. I, I'm, an, I'm an artist, so I've always, uh, oh. I've always drawn, and the point is, uh, if I wanted it to be really good. Uh, <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> Who kept the full-scale doll of Star-Lord that Nebula carries in Volume 3? Yeah. I don't know. In my, and it's, um, my head's cocked back. I'm asleep with my mouth open, so oh. no, it was like uh, I hope whoever scary, has it is, is treating it with respect. No. <laughs> There's a scene where Peter is, is passed out in the, in the opening. Uh, Nebula mm -hmm. carries Quill out but like this. And so in order for her to do that over and over for this long slow motion thing, obviously mm -hmm. she couldn't lift my body weight because I'm uh, too big for that. So they, they made like a 40 pound version of myself, but the face is identical. Oh, it's so creepy, creepy. identical. So good. And when it's I first incredible. saw it lying there on the couch, basically passed out looking dead, I had this, this ang anxious sort of like twinge in my soul where I was like, I'm looking at myself dead, what, like an out-of-body kind of experience. Mm, yeah. Strange. Oh. There you go. Now that's glamorous. You're most likely to break character in a scene. Mm. Ooh. Um, oh. I don't that's think actually I, really tough. I don't think any of us. I think, I think we're like pretty good at not breaking character. Oh, <laughs> me? And me. <laughs> Together. I mean, I guess, yeah, well, it'd be probably one of you two because me, I'm, it's not like, oh, Chris suddenly transformed <laughs> back out of the character of Star-Lord <laughs> into Chris. <laughs> that was a big distinguish, distinction there. So probably, I mean, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Karen. <gasps> I do I'm going to say Karen. Karen because I you, laugh. you laugh and your voice is, you're doing a totally different voice. So I mean, it's I easier would, for you to break here. Yeah, the thing is yeah. like, you're so different in real life. Yes. And the, the most hilarious thing for me is to watch Karen do um, her nebula and she's amazing at it. And then uh, and they say, okay, stop. cut. And then like, she starts being herself. Yeah. So she's like cool, walking cool nebula. And then she runs like, like herself, <laughs> like super goofy oh, and God, weird. I know. It's so I lose funny. all my cool points in one second. <laughs> Most likely to sing first at karaoke. Oh, I, oh, yeah, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. What Can you sing something? Be, Oh, I'm always singing. I always sing on set all the time. I'm always constantly singing. Yeah, you hear him before he arrives on set because yeah. you can hear like the faint singing and then he arrives. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you kind uh, of do that too in the right. makeup trailer. Yeah. You're like, yeah. rawr, 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 rawr. She, you, she does like weird voices. Yeah. She's I listen to the Top Gun theme song every day that I get my makeup on. Is it true? Yeah, every <laughs> oh my God. single. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to like uh, Scorpions. Uh, Hurricane, and then I'm gonna sing probably like Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna sing s some like a uh, Whitney Houston song. Uh, I Will Always Love You is my favorite song, a karaoke song. Yeah. And sometimes I do like French songs to Edith Piaf. Oh, and nice. I do Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Machine. Whoa, whoa. In a Scottish accent. Oh, I gotta hear this. <laughs> Most likely to know how to drive a stick ship. <sighs> I mean, I don't know how to drive anything. So I mean, you I'm know, saying... but I, oh sh okay, sorry. What'd you put? I mean, oh, I know yeah, I know how to drive a stick oh, shift. Oh, hey, Tom, because you're European. No, but I took I took drifting lessons, so I just yeah, I learned drifting it. lessons. Yeah, to learn how to do donuts. <laughs> uh, most likely to forget to text back. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Who did you put? I, I put you. Yeah. Are you both? Well, like, I guess like both of I'm them. I'm trying hard to get better though. It was like my New Year's <laughs> resolution was to declutter my phone and to be better at texting back. And God, I'm still not. I'm bad. really good at texting back. You are actually really good at that. Mm -hmm. Most likely to watch really bad reality TV. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. This is of me course. without a doubt. Oh really? Oh yeah, she's always talking about her reality oh, shows. Unbelievable. You Vanderpump love. Rules. Oh yeah, anything you love the Bravo. I'm a Bravo. No, fan. actually, she watches. Did you uh, say Bravo? Bitch? <laughs> is that the thing? She, she <laughs> watches uh, like these shows when she's getting into makeup as Nebula. So it takes yeah, hours, it and she watches these things. It helps me. I knew one of the girls from Vanderpump Rules <gasps> when she was in high school. <gasps> Which one? Her name is Katie. Katie Maloney. Yeah. Oh my god! She was, uh, I was on Everwood and she played one of the cheerleaders from Ever, quote, like Everwood High. Oh god, that's so cool! I'd be so starstruck. Glamour, thank you so much. Earlier today I thought, you know what we need to do? We need to test our friendship. And here you are. You gave us that test and we passed with flying colors, so thank you. Yeah, we did. Yes, we are the best. We are the best <laughs> friends. Best friends.